2018 is going to be a big year for movies, so I thought, let's count down my top 10 anticipated movies for 2018. <laughs> Alright, coming in at number 10, I have Mission Impossible 6 coming out July 27th, 2018. I love the Mission Impossible franchise and I just can't wait for this. No trailers have been revealed yet, but yeah, it's Mission Impossible. I'm very excited. The director from Rogue Nation is coming back, so we can expect some great action sequences, even though I think Ghost Protocol is the best of the franchise. But overall, I am expecting this to be great. So that's all I really have to say about it. Going into number nine, I have Aquaman. And when people say, oh, the DCEU is banned and stuff, why did you put Aquaman up here? Well, the DCEU solo films, like Man of Steel and Wonder Woman, they're actually pretty good. That's what people say. And I think all the DCEU films are great, and this is my list, so I think Aquaman will be great, especially from Jason Momoa's performances and the director. I'm really excited about it. So, it's on this list. Alright, coming in at number 8, I have Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. The trailer for this movie kind of swirled a lot. No, not the first half of the movie, the first act. So it's it's a bit spoiled, and I'm like, oh my god! I was like, wow, when I saw the trailer. But then I was thinking about the trailer, and I was like, why couldn't I like feel those wow moments while while I was in the theater? Why did I have to see them? You know, there, and it was really weird, but. Overall, I am still probably going to enjoy the movie. I hope so. Jurassic World is kind of like a fast food chain for me. Like, the ingredients are bad, but it's... Like, the ingredients are unhealthy, but it's still great. I still love it. That's what I think. The plot is bad. Like, why didn't they call an evacuation earlier? Come on. Like, people have died now because you didn't, you didn't have the guts to call an evacuation. You dumb. So, yeah, the plot's kind of bad, but I still enjoy the movie. So, overall, I'm expecting this to, you know, be a blast. Jurassic World made a ton of, a lot of money. All right, at number seven, I have... Well, okay, so this movie, I... I am looking forward to, but then I'm kind of not looking forward to, like I could skip it. Nah, just kidding, I'm very much looking forward to it. I really hope this was more up the top, but it, um, it's, uh, I, I feel like now that the director is gone, something just feels off. I know we're going to be getting some great action sequences because the director from John Wick is coming in. But something just feels off. The humour might not be the best. And that's what the Merc with the Mouth was all about. You're right, I'm talking about Deadpool 2. This movie... Just felt so... So great. The movie felt so great. Deadpool felt so great. And I feel like this movie's going to... Piece of great cable domino time traveling. Another big way to mess up the X Men franchise. But I, I think it's going to be awesome. So, you know, we can't look at the past. We have, we have to look at the future. Right, Kylo Ren? Yeah, exactly what he said. So, um, interesting enough, number six. Is the one that I have, Ant Man and the Wasp. It's not on people's list, it's mostly an honorable mention. But Paul Rudd is amazing, eventually, Lily is amazing. Uh, I can't remember the guy who played, um, yeah, Michael Douglas is amazing. So I hope to see more of them great performances in this movie. Can't wait to see it, right, Luke? Yeah, but you can't think about Ant Man, you have to think about Ant Man and the Wasp. You have to let the past die. So yeah, 
Um, let's move on. Why, why should we move on to our top five? Number five, I have Fantastic Beasts of Crimes of Grindelwald. Jude Laura's Dumbledore is coming into this. Johnny Depp, he's, he was all right in Murder in the Ornament Express. So I'm going to pass from on this. And in Fantastic Beasts, he was like, will we die? Just a little. And I'm really interested to see what that line means. So I'm definitely going to be going for this movie. Plus, I grew up with Harry Potter and I really want to see it. Just like Jurassic World, Fantastic Beasts is kind of a Taco Bell. Kind of chips. Chips. Let's say it's kind of chips. So, potato. Oh, it's healthy. Ah, potato. Potato is healthy. It's really good. Just like one half of the pot, which is trying to find the beast that I've escaped. But then the other ingredients and the deep frying and the oil and the salt, they're all uh, pretty bad. Like the child abuse storyline. But I still like the chips. I still like the movie. So all my favourite characters are returning with some new ones, like Newt Scamander's older brother, the War hero, Theseus, Commander, can't wait. Another popular franchise that I grew up with was Star Wars. So number four will be Solo, a Star Wars story. Now since Han Solo is not a Skywalker, his story isn't really portrayed as much. He wasn't really a main character in any of the movies until Empire Strikes Back. Which is a lot of the movies, but he wasn't a main character in the first movie. He was just part of the adventure. So... Yeah, he wasn't really a main character that we'd be rooting for. He could be the villain, and I still would have liked him because of Harrison Ford's performance. But now Harrison Ford's gone, Disney's expecting this to, you know, blow, bomb, you know, writing it off. The production design at the bar, oh, I'm still going to see this movie because it's Star Wars, but this might be worse than The Phantom Menace. Which is my least favourite Star Wars movie. Some people say it's Attack of the Clones, but for me it's my, you know. Alright, now let's just like quickly fast forward on this. Coming in at number three is Black Panther. Of course, this is a Marvel movie to come right before Infinity War. Of course, I'm going to see Chadwick Boseman, Michael B. Jordan, the director, whoever he is. He's, he's pretty good, apparently, I've heard, so I can't wait to see this movie. Yeah, especially because the performances, Wakanda and Andy Circus will be amazing. The cast looks pretty good, which I've said like a million times. The action in the trailers look really good. I'm so excited for this. It's going to be diverse. It's going to be awesome. Coming in at number two, we have the long-awaited sequel from Pixar, The Incredibles 2. The, the superhero of like Incredibles was just amazing. It's in my top three Pixar movies, just below the two Toy Story movies. So I am absolutely going to love this movie. I hope it's centered from the trailers and the news that we've heard. Apparently it's going to focus on Elastigirl and Jack-Jack, especially Jack-Jack getting his powers. But... It's, it's going to be awesome. I hope it's going to be awesome. But number one, of course, is Avengers Infinity War. Nothing to say about it except for it's Marvel. Ten years have combined all to this and all the superheroes are gathering together to fight a big, bold man with a raisin head and a glove that has stones on it. Of course, he's a very powerful man with a purple bolt head and it's a very powerful club with very powerful stones on it. That's why they need like their whole entire arsenal to beat this guy. But what are your picks for the most anticipated movies for next, uh, this year? This year. Sorry, I'm still in 2017. What are your... But I was going into Tashi Station to pick up some power converters. Mm, okay, but what are your picks... For well, the most anticipated movies of this year, tell me down below. Also, I'm going to be reviewing every single Marvel movie, um, Marvel Cinematic Universe movie, in the lead up to Avengers Infinity War. There's more detail down in the description if you really want to check that out. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye. That was weird, bro. That was weird.